Coming up on Spectrum News, in the wake of Saturday's deadly synagogue shooting in California, here at home, security is being stepped up at local places of worship. We'll have the latest. Plus, crafts for a cause, how a wine and skill craft fair is helping a local anti-human trafficking organization. Switching to state politics, lawmakers are set to begin the final two months of session Monday. Among the issues being discussed, the possible legalization of recreational marijuana. And superheroes took over a park in Mechanicville to raise money for the Ronald McDonald House. These stories and more ahead on Spectrum News. Hey, thanks for tuning in. You're watching Spectrum News. I'm Terry Stackhouse. All the evening's top stories are coming right up after this quick check of your Weather on the Ones forecast. Tragedy during one of the holiest Jewish celebrations of the year. A Passover shooting leaving one dead and three wounded at a Southern California synagogue Saturday. As Rick Damagella reports, friends and family are honoring the victim who sacrificed her life. Meanwhile, local faith leaders reacting to the tragedy and discussing what it means for services going forward. Synagogues around the country have been on high alert since the attack, bumping up security in and around places of worship. That, of course, includes places here in the capital region. Gary Ginsburg, president of Temple Israel in Albany, says in addition to extra security, he believes the remedy to stopping these mass shootings is educating others about the Jewish faith. Ginsburg also telling us they're coordinating with local law enforcement as well as using internal security measures. Police are investigating what's being called a hunting accident that led to a Pittsfield man's death. It happened in Great Barrington along Monument Valley Road. A spokesman for the Berkshire County DA's office says 44-year-old Christopher Punton was handling a shotgun during a turkey hunt when he suffered a gunshot wound. The DA's office says there's no indication anything criminal occurred. Hoosick Falls police arrest a man they say failed to register as a sex offender. They allege that 33-year-old Aaron Barnes moved to the community from Newark, New Jersey back in March. Under the law, he had 10 days to register with his new address, but police say he failed to do so. Barnes was arraigned and released pending another appearance in Hoosick Falls court. Human trafficking is often said to be hidden in plain sight, and the organization Eyes Wide Open in the Capital Region is working to change that. On Sunday, our Erica Lee stopped by a wine and skill craft and vendor fair, all to benefit them to find out why. Celebrating a faith community, the Morning Star Missionary Baptist Church has been making a joyful noise for 125 years. A service Sunday honoring the church's history and the parishioners. Nine people were honored for more than 50 years with the church. Lawmakers also recognizing the church's long history. State lawmakers are returning to Albany Monday for the final two months of the session. Among key issues that they'll be discussing, bills to legalize recreational marijuana. Lawmakers couldn't reach an agreement in the budget on how to spend revenue from recreational marijuana and concerns over traffic safety. And speaking of transportation, the state Senate is holding a public hearing on Thursday on limousine safety in the wake of October's deadly limo crash in Schoharie. Senate Transportation Committee Chair Tim Kennedy of Buffalo will lead the hearing. The state budget passed last month includes new limousine safety measures like doubling penalties for violating safety regulations. The Department of Motor Vehicles will also be allowed to, to confiscate the plates of any stretch limo that doesn't pass inspection. Session is set to end on June 19th. The Red Cross is sounding the alarm this weekend, reaching out to the public for help raising funds and volunteers. It's all part of a national push to prevent home fires. The Red Cross says seven people die every day from one of those fires, and they need help to get more potentially life-saving smoke detectors into homes. For the next two weeks, they're holding events with volunteers, local fire departments, and other groups going around at-risk neighborhoods. They'll be handing out free smoke detectors. Here in New York, those will come with 10-year non-removable batteries as required by state law that phased in this month. If you're interested in being part of the Red Cross campaign, just head to redcross.org soundthealarm. 
The memory of a young life tragically cut short, inspiring people on their own caped crusade. The third annual Sasha's Superhero Run happening in Mechanicville's Talmadge Park Sunday. The organizers were parents to Sasha Hudson White, who they say died suddenly back in 2016 at just 24 days old. Each year, Sasha's Run benefits a charity, and this year all proceeds from the 5K and Kids Fun Run flowing to the Ronald McDonald House of the Capital District. Sasha's parents telling us that organization's mission of helping seriously ill children and their families is especially important to them. Superhero costumes were encouraged for this event to show a spirit of fighting back against grief and disease. We are in for a chilly night across the region. Let's hand it over to meteorologist Mike Bono with your latest Weather on the Ones forecast. Up next, the Albany Empire is off to a great start for its second season. Our Jesse McWilliam has more on their dominating performance after the break.